Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I've got something different. I'm going to be showing you how to make five different cards using this one die. It's an absolutely gorgeous wreath Christmas die, which is available at Hobby Base. And I just highly recommend that you should have a wreath die in your collection. So the first card I'm going to be making, and this is for this month's edition of the Social Paper Crafter magazine. So you'll be able to see all of these pictures in close up and also over on my blog. And I'll share all those links below. So we're going to be making this beautiful green kind of more um, forest kind of looking I would say and um, all I'm doing here is just die cutting on some white cardstock and then I'm going to be colouring this in with my alcohol markers. So it cuts beautifully this one, I didn't have to use a shim or anything and then just a little help in hand with my Sizzix little brush there just to get all of those kind of little bits and pieces out. So here I am, I've got my mat down just to protect my other mat and I'm just going around with three different greens. So I've got an olive green, um, kind of like a yellowy green and then just more of a garden green I would say. And I'm just, they look quite block colours at the moment but by the end of it they're very very blended and you would have seen that in the picture at the beginning. So even there they look like there's quite a lot of stripes but actually once I start blending it that soon disappears and it becomes very very well blended. <laughs> so um, I've gone ahead and done that. Now I am die cutting the centre. I want to remove that just so again it's got more of that wreath kind of look with that gap because this is going to be a shaker card. So I've just cut a small piece of acetate just to pop in the middle there and just trimming it down a little bit. So it doesn't matter, you don't have to have large cards. This is only a five by five card and even a small space like this you can make a little shaker element which I love. So I'm just applying some of my red double sided tape which works really well when you're using acetate. So I've just attached some on one side and I'm just using my bone folder to make sure you get all the air bubbles out. And now I'm just cutting a strip of my double sided foam because we need to raise that up so we can put our shaker element inside. So I'm just going around with that thin strip and just not right up to the, the inside circle but just I've left a little bit of a gap just because you don't want to see that white foam when you're looking in from the other side. So I'm just going around there, make sure you get a really nice join at the very end. So now I want to just mat a green, so it's the same kind of greens that are in the actual colours that I used. So that is a 5x5 five five card base and the mat there is 4 and 3 quarters squared. So my shaker elements are tiny little gold Christmas trees. I've had them in my stash for a long, long time, so unfortunately I can't tell you where they're from. But they just look really nice and they catch the light really well and they're really flat so they really move around quite freely which is nice. And then I'm just finishing off with my sentiment which is we wish you a Merry Christmas and just sticking that right across at the top. And then just for some more added bling I've got these really nice little copper coloured flat back pearls and I'm just going around and just lining them on that inner um, circle because I've made like a green ring to sit on top of that as well. And um, I think it just finishes it off really, really nicely. And you can see now there, close up, what a cute little 5x5 five five card. Love it. Really, really nice. So that is card number one. Card number two is this gorgeous 5x7 um, card using red Miri card. Miri card is just lovely to use at Christmas time, any time of the year. But Christmas time, it really does make your cards kind of pop, I think. So I've got two mats. I've got the Miri card mat and then I've got a white mat and then I've die cut that wreath in the red Miri card. So there's lots and lots of shine to this one. So I've stuck down this wreath onto the white card and then I want to wrap some ribbon around it just along that bottom because I'm going to be adding a bow. So I've applied some glue and I've just clipped it around to the left hand side there with my finger and thumb and then I'm just wrapping that other side around just so it adheres to the foam adhesive as well I think. Did I put foam on this one? No, not on this one actually, sorry. So it's just the glue direct but I've put glue on that ribbon as well to make sure that it sticks nicely and then just mat that on top. So the mats are, I've got a six and three quarter by four and three quarter. And then the white one will be four and a half by six and a half. And then I've just made my bow and just with some hot glue there, I'm just going to stick that down into the center. Now I want to make my little uh, sentiment or little message for the middle. So this one is just happy Christmas. And I'm just using some of my red ink here and my stamping platform just to make sure I get a really nice impression. And that's the good thing about the platform. You know, if you miss a little bit, you can go back in as many times as you like.
So all of that is just being raised up on some foam adhesive. I've cut another circle in red miri just to frame that happy Christmas. So that one sits on top and then the happy Christmas will go on top again. So there is quite a, I guess, dimension to this card, but it will still fit perfectly into a normal five by seven envelope and you'll be able to post that. And um, I hadn't stuck the bow down, actually. I just put it there. Now I stick the bow down. <laughs> but always use hot glue. It works best with fabric. And again, I think that is an absolutely gorgeous, really quick. I mean, I sped these up double time, but they don't take long at all. And look at the shine on that card. It's absolutely stunning. I really, really do love the Merry card. Now on to card number three is an easel card. A lot of you follow me, you will see that I made the very similar circle easel card. So I've gone straight in and cut it because if you want to see that, I will link up now for you to be able to cut and get that template of what I've done there. So basically the construction is exactly the same as the other circle easel card that I've done. But because I was using the wreath, I thought the circle easel card would work really well with this one. So I'm kind of just building it all up now and putting my, um, I guess, the topper part on, which is that piece that's just stuck on half of it. And you can see there now you start to get that easel card come into shape. And then I'm going to use this white uh, circle die, which overlaps. It's got that kind of quarter of an inch um, overlap. But that's what I want because that's going to frame the wreath die when I stick that on. So I'm just sticking that onto the back of that white, which is going to be the front of the card. Again, you're it'll open in a minute and it will all make sense. And um, you can see there now, see how that's all going to come together. So again, these are so quick and easy to make. So again, if you want to do a fun full card, the easel cards are brilliant to do for that. So I'm just sticking this other white smaller disc now, which is going inside. And this can be where you write your message or you can write your message above there on the half section. Next, I've die cut the wreath die in a kind of garden green again and just sticking in the middle there. And you can see now the detail already pops as soon as you put that die against that white. So I wanted something that was going to really kind of stand out. Now I'm using this Merry Christmas die, which is the hobby base precision die. And I've um, die cut some white foam, fun foam. And then I'm just applying a little bit of glue just to the kind of main parts really. And then that one I'm going to stick down. So it's just got some really nice dimension and it's got a nice shadow to it because I've got that white fun foam behind there. So that fits really nicely right through the middle. Got to have Winker Stella at Christmas time. Really, really good stuff. It's a um, just a glitter pen basically. It's got mica in it. So it really, really does shimmer. And you just brush over any surface and it will dry. And it dries very, very sparkly. So there's the bow already done. You don't want to see me make trying to do bows because I'm all fingers and thumbs. And that is going to sit there perfectly and it holds it up so nicely. Um, and just showing you there where you can write your message as well, which I mentioned before. So a little bit of hot glue, hold it up where you want it to go and then pop it down. So this is more of a decorative card. Like I said, you could write your message inside there, but I would say to write it on the half sides because that bow pretty much takes up all of the room. But how cute is that? And again, it will fit perfectly into a small envelope and you could still post it. It has got the bulk, but it will work. Okay, on to the, ne the next card. This is a blue Miri card. There's something about blue, white and silver um, at Christmas time. It's just, I don't know, it just works so nicely together. So, sorry, I said blue Miri card, it's actually silver. So this is a six by six card. The Miri card there then is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then the blue will be five and a half by five and a half. And then that silver square is just my largest square from my stitched framelits. So I'm just gonna start layering them all up. And then the difference with this one is I've die cut that wreath die in vellum. Vellum's such a nice, fabric will you know it's a paper basically but it's another nice textile to use it, it you know it is it does kind of feel like a fabric and um, some of them you can get really nice thicker ones and ones with you know foiling on and all sorts it's lovely so again i want to bring in some ribbon with this one so i'm going to have the ribbon this time going right through the center of that silver square so i've already put my foam adhesive on the back i'm just trimming it so i haven't got so much and just taking off a little bit just to stick each end of that ribbon and then pull it right the way around, nice and taut, and then just stick it on that other side. And then I'll just add some glue again over those bits there just to make sure obviously it sticks down well because it is again, obviously that fabric. So that one then is just gonna sit perfectly in the center. And then you can see there just how nice that looks. And that fabric's a really nice thick 
um, ribbon, sorry, that it's a really nice thick fabric. Whenever you're using Miri card, if you're using wet glue, let it dry and then I've got a microfiber cloth and just go over and buff it up and it comes out beautifully. You don't get any finger marks, no smears, they completely disappear. So if you ever have that problem or you think, oh, I'd hate using mirrored card when I've got, you know, um, wet glue, just use a microfiber cloth, works perfectly. Again, I'm doing what I did on the easel card. So I'm just using some of my foam adhesive, sorry, some of my fun foam and I'm die cutting that same Merry Christmas on a piece of grey fun foam and I've already die cut it there on the blue to match and then I'm just peeling it away. This time I've used my double sided foam sheet just to show you that you can also use that and create these kind of stickers. So it was a little bit fiddly but it did all come out fine. Um, you just kind of have to play around but you can see now it's just another way. It's exactly the same as before but just different colours and a different way to put it together. And again, that's going to sit there on the vellum. Now, it did kind of look lost against the blue ribbon. So I wanted to kind of lift that. So I'm just die cutting a white circle. And then I'm going to place that behind the Merry Christmas. And you'll see now it just lifts it completely. You can see it now and read it perfectly. So it's just a way just to kind of help that along. I still wanted people to see that it was a vellum and a different kind of texture without it kind of getting lost. So again, I'm raising it all up on some foam adhesive stick down the vellum first and then get that other piece that's stuck down and it just looks really really nice. I always forget to use vellum. I need to pull it out now and kind of keep it on my desk over the Christmas period and then just stick that again and just how lovely. Again simple, doesn't take long at all but it just has a real kind of wow factor and then you've got to finish it off with a bow. So I've just the same uh, fabric there from the ribbon that I put through the middle just to finish off on the top and I think it looks gorgeous so that's a six by six card again very very quick to do so now on to the last card and this is my favorite now to look at it just looks pretty standard very traditional in color but with this wreath die when it's cut it cuts out and it has all these little um, like holes all around it so I'm going to die cut three because I want this to be really thick. So I'm going to layer these all up on top of each other. So I've just die cut them there and got all the bits and pieces out. So now I'm going to try and marry them all up because they're, they're not a mirror image. So you have to find the way, you know, the perfect position for them to sit exactly on top of each other. And I did find that one of the bits there that I'm pointing at is kind of longer than all the rest. So that was my kind of pointer, my little marker, I guess, to uh, make sure I stuck them all in the right place. So now I'm just going to layer them all on top. You can see that I'm just popping the glue in between. But I wanted the outside not stuck down because I'm going to now go around, as you can see, and lift it all up with my um, finger and thumb just to, again, kind of just make it a bit more, you know, dimensional and not so flat. And because they're so thick, there was lots of it. So it did, you know, it does look really good. It's one of those cards that on closer inspection, you can really kind of appreciate what's in it. So now I'm going to grab my, I've got my tweezers and my ribbon and I'm going to just basically like stitch through those hole punch, you know, the, the die cut holes that are on that wreath to make it look like a real wreath. This is kind of, you know, what you would, would have on a, on a traditional one on your door. So you can see I've gone all the way around there and then I'm just finishing it off with a bow on the top. This is quite a thin, it's like an organza kind of ribbon. So it was, you know, really easy to kind of thread through. Again, popping it on some foam adhesive there and then sticking that on a pre-made six by six card with the same mats as the blue one. And just having it weaved through just gives another really lovely look to the card. And it's just another fun way to get the most out of that die. So now I'm just stamping my sentiment here and this is Tis the Season. So again, just using my stamping platform to make sure I get a nice impression. And I just wanted to show that you don't need to have a lot of you know, you may just be starting off crafting and you've just got maybe one or two dies and one stamp set or it might be a free stamp set from a, a magazine. You don't need a lot of things to make beautiful cards. And it's it's just understanding how many kind of different, you know, things and ways you can use what you've got. And I just wanted to show that this die, you know, different colours, different fun folds and different actually, you know, using the die and, the, and parts of the die like I've done with this one here. And you can create, again, beautiful, beautiful cards. So just finishing this one off now with some foam adhesive again, because I just like to keep them all raised. And that one just sits in there, lovely. And then to finish it off, I coat this completely in Wink Stella. 
and it does look really, really good. It shines and shines and shines. I let it dry and then I put more on top. I let it dry and kind of kept layering it up. And it does. It looks so, so pretty. And this is my favorite. You can see now it catching the light. So there you go. There are my five cards using that one wreath die. Everything, all the information will be found below in the video description. Go check it out. There's loads of inspiration in this month's edition. And hopefully this has inspired you today. And yeah, you go and make lots of Christmas cards. Thanks for stopping by and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Bye.